In a groundbreaking announcement that may very well reshape the automotive industry's approach to alternative fuels, Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, recently revealed the company's latest foray into innovative propulsion systems, the ammonia engine. This ambitious endeavor not only underscores Ford's commitment to sustainability, but also holds the potential to revolutionize our perception of clean energy and transportation. The implications of this announcement are vast, and the auto industry, as well as the wider world of sustainable technology, is abuzz with the possibilities. At the core of Farley's announcement is the unique properties and potential of ammonia as a fuel source. Comprising one part nitrogen and three parts hydrogen, ammonia is a compound with high energy density. Unlike conventional internal combustion engines that run on gasoline, ammonia engines capitalize on the chemical reactions between ammonia and oxygen to generate power. When burned, ammonia produces nitrogen and water, making its emissions far cleaner than those of gasoline. The technology behind this innovation remains proprietary to Ford, but initial reports suggest the company has made significant strides in maximizing the efficiency of ammonia combustion. Given the complexities of harnessing the energy stored within ammonia safely, this progress marks a significant technical accomplishment. The allure of ammonia as a fuel source is manifold. First and foremost, ammonia's combustion results in emissions that are free from carbon dioxide. At a time when the automotive world is grappling with the challenges of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, the promise of a CO2-free combustion process is undeniably appealing. Moreover, with the world's increasing focus on hydrogen as a potential fuel, ammonia could serve as an effective carrier of hydrogen, given its high hydrogen content. However, critics are quick to point out the challenges associated with ammonia. Producing ammonia conventionally requires significant amounts of energy, typically sourced from fossil fuels. Unless this production can be shifted to renewable sources, the overall carbon footprint of ammonia might negate some of its environmental benefits. Farley's announcement did more than just introduce a novel engine technology. It reflected Ford's broader vision for a sustainable automotive future. Demonstrating their commitment to innovation, Ford has a rich history of pioneering automotive technologies, from the assembly line introduced by Henry Ford to the recent push towards electric vehicles. The ammonia engine, as envisioned by Farley and his team, seems poised to be the next significant milestone in this legacy. Under Farley's leadership, Ford appears to be looking beyond the immediate horizon, ready to embrace solutions that others might dismiss as too challenging or unconventional. This commitment can be seen not just in their research and development efforts, but also in their strategic partnerships and investments in clean energy infrastructure. The introduction of an ammonia engine by Ford has the potential to send ripples through the global energy market. Historically, the energy sector has been dominated by fossil fuels, such as oil, coal, and natural gas. The emergence of ammonia as a viable fuel could disrupt traditional energy dynamics. Countries rich in renewable energy resources, like wind and solar, could potentially capitalize on these assets to produce green ammonia, thus diversifying their energy exports and reducing their dependence on conventional fuels. Moreover, with an increasing number of countries committing to net zero carbon emissions targets, the demand for clean energy solutions is only set to rise. If ammonia can be sustainably produced at scale, it may emerge as a contender in the global energy mix, affecting trade, geopolitics, and economies. While Ford has taken the lead in unveiling the ammonia engine, it's inevitable that other automobile giants will explore this avenue, leading to a renewed race for innovation. This competitive landscape might accelerate research and development in ammonia combustion propulsion technology and related fields. However, it also presents challenges. Brands will need to decide if they wish to invest in this new technology or continue their efforts in existing domains like electric and hydrogen fuel cells. Those late to the ammonia game might find themselves playing catch-up, whereas early adopters and innovators could capitalize on first-mover advantages. From an environmental perspective, the transition to ammonia as a fuel, if executed sustainably, could be a boon. The reduction in CO2 emissions would be a significant step toward combating climate change.
However, it's crucial to consider the entire life cycle of ammonia production and use. As earlier mentioned, the green production of ammonia is essential. Utilizing renewable energy sources for its production ensures that the environmental impact remains low. Furthermore, there's the matter of ammonia's potential as a pollutant. If released into the environment, ammonia can have detrimental effects on aquatic life and ecosystems. This necessitates stringent safety measures in its storage, transport, and use. The ultimate success of the ammonia engine will hinge on its acceptance by the public. Ford and other potential players in the ammonia automotive market will need to undertake robust public relations and marketing campaigns. These campaigns should emphasize not only the environmental benefits of ammonia engines, but also their safety, efficiency, and cost effectiveness. Potential consumers will likely have concerns about the availability of refueling stations, the safety of driving an ammonia-powered vehicle, and the transition to this new technology. Longevity and reliability of the new engine type addressing these concerns head-on will be crucial for market adoption. Beyond the immediate sectors directly associated with automobile production and energy, the rise of ammonia as a fuel could have wide-reaching economic implications. The infrastructure required for ammonia-based transportation, including production plants, distribution networks, and refueling stations, could stimulate job creation across various sectors. For regions historically dependent on fossil fuel extraction and related industries, this transition might pose challenges. Workers skilled in traditional energy sectors may face displacement. However, with adequate training and reskilling programs, there's potential for these individuals to transition into roles within the burgeoning ammonia industry. Governments and private institutions might need to collaborate to ensure that the workforce is prepared for these shifts. The automotive world is not isolated. It evolves in tandem with various technological advancements. The integration of ammonia engines with emerging technologies like autonomous driving, AI-driven predictive maintenance, and advanced telematics could further enhance the appeal and efficiency of ammonia-powered vehicles. Furthermore, advancements in material science, especially in areas like catalysts, could further improve the efficiency of ammonia combustion making the engines even more competitive against traditional gasoline engines and other alternative fuel options. As countries grapple with the implications of climate change, policy decisions are increasingly leaning towards sustainability and green technologies. The introduction of an ammonia engine by a significant player like Ford may prompt policymakers worldwide to revisit their stances on alternative fuels. Subsidies, tax breaks, and other incentives might be introduced to encourage both manufacturers and consumers to pivot towards ammonia-based solutions. Conversely, stringent regulations could be imposed on ammonia production and distribution to ensure minimal environmental impact. The interplay between technology, market demands, and policy will be a delicate balance that will shape the trajectory of ammonia in the transport sector.